Hello at home, snapshot scientists. I'm Mr. S. Some of you have no doubt taken snapshot science as an after school or homeschool program here in central Wisconsin. Others may be new to snapshot science. If you're joining us from near or far, welcome. At Snapshot Science, we practice science by completing experiments that get us to think and do things like a scientist. We ask questions, predict what might happen in an experiment, that's called a hypothesis, observe and collect data, usually by measuring something, and analyze the data to look for patterns. If the patterns are different than what we predicted, we make a new hypothesis and maybe even run the experiment again, just to be sure. We don't need a fancy lab to do science. Science can help us to study just about anything we can think of. In the next few weeks, I'll share at least one experiment per week that can be done with simple items you probably have around the house. This week, here's what you need. At least two different balls, a tape measure, stopwatch, or both. Most phones have a stopwatch app. Pencil, data sheet or science journal, and graph sheet. The data and graph sheets can be downloaded from the Snapshot Science website. higher than the baseball. Why do you think that happened? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but they're different sizes and they're made out of different materials. And this one is hollow and this one is solid with different layers of things, kind of like an onion has different layers. than the baseball. Why do you think that happened that way? <laughs> so Mr. S, the, round, the, the bouncy ball... Uh, <laughs> so Mr. S, the bouncy ball... <laughs> 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 I want to say... 